I am so incredibly honored to be here tonight to celebrate the great Carol Littleton. There, there you are. I think it's safe to say that all of us are here because we have an abiding passion to create stories that will resonate in the human heart and soul and will help us understand who we are, where we came from, where we're going, and why we are feeling what we feel. And I think all of us would agree that films are ultimately created in the editing room. After the pressure, passion, and drama of shooting a movie, after the actors and the production crews have all dispersed, hopefully to other jobs, it is in the editing room that a director and editor take all the chosen raw material and attempt to fashion it into something extraordinary. I'm convinced that one of the most important elements in all good movies and an absolute imperative in all great movies is the emotional connection that's established with the audience in the first act and is maintained and enhanced up to the final moment. The delicacy of that connection is the mark of a great editor. Great editing makes us care, thus rearranging us in a particular moment, or sometimes for a lifetime. A great editor is an advocate, a detective, a humanist, a philosopher, and in some cases, a sensitive and articulate teacher. They see things that a director could have forgotten or doesn't even know he or she even has. A turn of a head, the blink of an eye, the emotional beat that's been truncated, or an elusive moment without which the connection to the audience would be irrevocably lost. It is that delicate. We are a complex and conflicted species, and so are our stories. Something fully understood by skillful editors. Carol Littleton is a great humanist. She loves us with all our faults and foibles. She does not judge us. She is after the truth of a moment. She knows that in our ignorance, Despite ourselves, if led gently, or not so gently, by the hand, we have the collective capacity to sense what is true. And it is that truth that moves us, that changes us. The Big Chill was my second film. Thank you, Larry, for trusting that the strange and eccentric nurse Jenny Fields in The World According to Garp could also be this nurturing, steady, I thought for a while boring Sarah Cooper in The Big Chill. We became a family with two sets of parents, Larry and Meg Kasdan, and John Bailey and Carol Littleton. Through <laughs> through time and though time and distance has separated, separated us through the years, we remain a family. Indeed, we have endured our first losses. The great, loved, humanly conflicted Bill Hurt, and our father, mentor, friend, and industry leader, John Bailey, Carol's beloved husband. For me, the big chill was the true beginning of my education in the craft of film acting. I was so incredibly lucky to be in such brilliant hands because in retrospect, it was really the wordless, beautifully edited moments that gave Sarah Cooper her emotional weight with the audience, crying in the shower, joining the group after crying in the shower, Smiling at Mary Kay after she'd had sex with my husband. If you haven't seen the movie, see it. Uh, and dancing in the kitchen. Um, 
I really thank you, Carol, for putting my butt in that shot because it made me look like a really good dancer, even though by, I was by far the worst. It was while filming The Big Chill that I learned the power of thought in film. But you know, you can act until your panties fray and the cows come home, and it won't resonate for a second unless you were lit by a John Bailey, directed by a Larry Kasdan, and edited with love, intelligence, empathy, and rigor by none other than the truly great human being, Carol Littleton. <laughs>